Sanskrit and the Vedic library is an untapped resource. Right now, we're just at the beginning of bringing all of the library of Vedic knowledge, which means scientific subjects of all descriptions, mathematics, astronomy, history in ways that we can't even imagine it because the Sanskrit could keep a historical record. In fact, the word history in English came from the word itihasa. You could hear it, can't you? San history, itihasa, Sanskrit word itihasa. Doesn't just mean history as we think of it. It means as it was at a certain time in the past. And the most famous of the historical books of the Vedic civilization are the Ramayana and Mahabharata, both of which were spoken, written, encoded many thousands of years ago, between eight and 12,000 years ago. Now, this is a totally unacceptable amount of time to Western civilization for history. The Abrahamic religions believed that time, the planet, history, began five or so thousand years ago. That's at least what their sacred texts say. Now, my point in this is, it's difficult to have another renaissance that includes Christianity or Islam, because honestly speaking, they don't have anything left to say.